Good morning, my name is Kiri. I'm the business growth strategist at Tiny Hunter. During the week, I received an email from one of my favorite brands asking me if I wanted to opt out of their upcoming Mother's Day marketing. The email recognized that this time of year can be really challenging for some people and they gave a really easy instructions for how to not receive any Mother's Day marketing. This email really stood out to me. I have friends that completely turn off social media at this time of year because it's quite triggering for them. So to see a brand not only acknowledge that this is a difficult time for some, but to actually change their marketing tactics to put their customers' needs before the bottom line was very impressive. This was taking email customization to a whole new level. It showed empathy. Brands that show they understand the challenges that customers face by offering solutions and support, not only build trust with their audience, but a deeper connection. And in a time where we are bombarded with advertisement and emails upon emails to show empathy and be human, it really stands out. People want brands to reflect who they are and to show that they really understand them. It can be easy for marketing teams to reduce their customers to a certain subgroup or a buyer persona, but this isn't the way that customers view themselves. So how do your products, your messaging, your brand affect the individual, the real people, the people who are in your store and on your site? Being empathetic means truly putting yourself in your customer's shoes and trying to understand how they make sense of the world. The role your brand plays in the big picture, while important, is actually a very small part of your customers' lives. So your product design, your marketing, the way you behave on social media, it all needs to be geared towards making sure that your customers are living their best lives. Because remember, at the end of the day, we're just people talking to people. That's it for me, it's time for Brecky.